So, when making tissue fluid, we need to consider the blood, the physical tissue fluid that we're going to make, and the lymph that we find in the lymphatic vessel. Right, it all starts at the arterial end of the pillory. At the arterial end, the pressure, or the hydrostatic pressure, is relatively high. So the hydrostatic pressure at the arterial end is high. This causes water to move from the blood into the tissue fluid. Because in the tissue fluid, at the arterial end, the osmotic pressure, so the hydrostatic pressure, is a lot lower. So water moves into the tissue fluid. Right, remember that the tissue fluid is the extracellular fluid that all of your body cells kind of bathes in. It's the fluid that you find, in this case, in between the blood that we've got in our capillary and the body cells. Remember that the capillary is nice and thin. It's only one cell thick, so it's got a very, very short diffusion distance for the water to move. Right, once the water has gone and it moves into the tissue fluid, it carries with it oxygen. So oxygen goes and diffuses out with the water that's moving into the tissue fluid. Right, the oxygen is then used by the tissue cells in respiration. At the same time, other products of digestion, so fats, glucose, amino acids and such forth, also move out of the blood due to the fact that there's a high hydrostatic pressure in the blood at this end into the tissue fluid, where it can then go and be used by the cells. At the opposite end, so at the opposite end, the hydrostatic pressure in the blood in the capillary is a lot lower. So because the blood hydrostatic pressure at the venual end is lower, water moves out of the tissue fluid back into the blood. As it's moving out of the tissue fluid into the blood, it's taking the waste products that are made by the tissues, so for instance carbon dioxide moves back into the blood, and urea and various other waste products. Uh, the last bit that I really want to talk about is the lymphatic system up at the top so the lymphatic system goes and it contains lymph right so the lymph contains b cells and a high level of lymphatic vessels absorb carbon dioxide and other things that are made during cellular reactions and cellular respiration by the tissue right the lymphatic ducts run all the way back until they reach the lymph nodes and they can go and rejoin the blood to get rid of these waste products.